Hey guys, guess what time it is? Cindy out here with my artsy endeavors. <clears throat> it is time for our pick a stick challenge. Um, let's see. I love these sticks. You notice I keep going back to the sticks. That's all right. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. <clears throat> this is last month. Let's look and see what we're gonna do for this month. I want to grab a. Let me grab a thing to put under here. <clears throat> That's too big. Hopefully everybody has been having fun doing these pick tens. <clears throat> I know I have. <clears throat> Sorry about the throat clearing. Um, <clears throat> I just tried to choke myself to death, I think. <clears throat> I was sitting here eating a... It's a protein bar. <clears throat> and apparently it went down the wrong hole because <clears throat> I started coughing like crazy and now I can't breathe. But that's okay. We're still going to art. <laughs> that's the matter. We're going to art. Are we ready? Let's see. Here we go. Number one is stickers. Use some stickers. All right. Let me grab some stickers. <clears throat> Let's see. Where are my stickers? You know, I've got this drawer labeled stickers. <clears throat> and trust me, no, this is not all the stickers I have. This is just ones I just happen to have here. All right, so let's look and see what we're going to do. Stickers. So we have no idea how this is going to work. So, oh, what are we going to do? <clears throat> Ooh, look at these. These look like cool stickers, don't they? We have those and we have these. Yeah, okay, that works. <clears throat> and we're going to do some stickers. Maybe. <clears throat> All right, stickers, here we go. These are really cool. These, um, actually, I think it was these ones either I got or Gina got at Target. And there's so many stickers in them we share. And it was the same with these. I got one pack. She got a pack. <clears throat> and then we share, you know, between the two of us because there were so many of these stickers in a pack. So we're putting down stickers. These are just a, like a copper color. <clears throat> Man, my throat hurts. Boy, I was coughing so much it made my arms hurt. It was really weird. All right, so there's those. Let's throw a couple of these on. We have no idea where this is going, so should be fun, right? <clears throat> All right, we got stickers. Okay, let's see what number two is before I put this drawer back. I don't want these stickers again, but I don't feel like getting up either, so. A tip-in. Hmm. We need a tip-in. These are all labels. <clears throat> let's see. We need a tip-in. Those are all just labels. Okay, let me, um, let me throw this. I'm going to keep you guys on because I've noticed um, one of the things that I've noticed on Mary's Live is usually when I stop the video is when I go find stuff. And I've noticed that, um, you know, it's hard for people to keep up with the, the speed of the video as I'm doing it. So... <clears throat> With that being said, tip in. We're going to. I have this basket over here. I'll show you. This is a basket <clears throat> full of stuff. And I just call it stuff because it's all odd and end stuff like this. 
um, everything from scraps to um, <clears throat> just envelopes to whatever. So we're going to try to find a tip in. Oh, these are cool. These are actually, um, this one's a card. Let's use this one. Move this back over there. I usually don't take it off there, but I wanted to show you what I was digging through. <clears throat> For a while, I belonged to a club called Pip Sticks. Pip Sticks, and they would send these, um, these cards out. And I always thought they were kind of pretty. So let's keep... <clears throat> do I want a tip in or a tip two? Let's do a tip in like it says. So we're going to have to do a tip in. Um, I am going to do it with <clears throat> some type of a washi tape. And then, you know, we might have to work on decorating this depending on what other prompts we have. Um, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. So this is a bucket of <clears throat> my extra washi. The rest of it is over there in a um, container with a bunch of drawers. So, let's see. I don't even know what color to use. Let's use that. It's got a little bit of gold to it. I think that'll work. Sure, why not? So... I'm coming over. Oops, sorry, I started singing. <clears throat> I have my head set on because I have found that I really enjoy um, creating when I have music on. And, of course, you know, with YouTube, they don't allow you to do music, so. <clears throat> All right, this has, like, a backing on it, so it's a different type of a washi. See, it has a... I, I kind of like it, but then again, I don't because it's a pain in the butt to put washi on, but that's all right. So let's take it and let's just do this first. <clears throat> and we're just going to cut it there. And we're going to do an actual tip in. <clears throat> Oops, that's not quite right. Running every night. Oops. See, every time I go to do that, I move it. All right, is that it? <clears throat> Yay! put a different color on the outside just because I don't know um, I have no idea what this next page is gonna be so now what I do with this um, I always just pull it up a little tear off the paper and then stick it to itself it's just easier that way <clears throat> what else are we gonna use This works. These are little cactuses. Or cacti. Is that how you say cactus? Cacti. I don't know if that's one singular or plural. I don't know. I'm not a desert person, so I don't know. <clears throat> you know, I've actually never been to the desert. That's somewhere I'd like to go sometime. I just want to see what it looks like. Never been. It was so funny because when I was out um, in Arizona with Gina Aarons, um, not this last January, but the one before, every time I saw a cactus as we were going back and forth to the convention center for the CHA, um, I was so excited because I've never seen them. And she's just looking at me like I'm crazy, <laughs> which, well, yeah, we know that I am, but that's all right. Um, but it was so cool because, you know, we don't have that kind of stuff, so... <clears throat> all right 
so we've added a tip in. Now we may end up doing more to it. I'm going to let it just be as a tip in right now. Put that back. All right, so that was number two. <clears throat> Let's see what number three is going to be. Round and round and round we go, and I'll pick you. Drip watery paint. We can do that because <clears throat> I was working on another project, and I have some paint right here, although I don't have any yellow on here. Let's see. What color do we want to drip? Let's drip some greens. We're going to drip some watery paint. Oops, let's see. Drip some watery paint. Oops, that one went on yesterday's. Or not yesterday's, last month's, I should say. I didn't do that yesterday. We are dripping watery paint. We'll drip it over here, too, on our tip-in. <clears throat> because at this point, the tip-in is part of this page, right? All right, let's drip another color. We got green. Let's drip up some of this blue. Got a bunch of blue right here. And like I said, this is just leftover paint that was on my palette from another project. So I'm just getting it watery. Well, let's throw this one in there, too. <clears throat> Gonna add a little bit more to it. Wonder if this has still got some in it. Yep, we'll add that to it. Alright, so we're just gonna drip paint. Yep, I keep getting it on this other one. That's alright. <clears throat> I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat, but my throat, you know, like I said, I was trying to choke myself to death here. I'll take another drink and see if I can get it to relax. All right, I like that. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. Don't want it on there, though. All right, I'm going to dry this, so I am going to stop. Go ahead and stop your video and dry yourself up, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've dried this up the best I can at this point um, because I'm not going to wait any longer. Ugh. Let's see what's next. So we're on number four. Do -do 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 -do. Round and round and round they go. You know, what I do before I start this is I take them out and I just go like this. So I'm always mixing them up. Um, just so you guys know. So, all right, let's see. Here we go. Next is you. What are you? Stamp into gesso. Thinking. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my jelly plate. This is a little 3 by 5 jelly plate. And... I'm going to move this over a little bit. Alright, what we're going to do is I'm going to grab some stamps. Let's see, what do I want to use today? Here's one. Hmm. I'm just looking to see. These are the stamps that I use a lot. And um, I just, I'm going to use, I don't want that, I want a triangle. These are stuck together. I like this triangle one. All right, so we got a circle and a triangle one and then just some dots. Actually, I don't like those dots. Let's get some different dots. Yeah. All right. We're going to stamp in gesso. 
So, what I'm looking for is my black gesso, right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to take my trusty little plastic pellet knife here. I think I just threw some paint thing on the floor. That's all right. All right, we're just going to put some black gesso down. We're going to brayer it. Gonna need more than that by the looks of things. <clears throat> All right, and then we're gonna stamp in it. So, here we go. I need another one of those plastics for under this. I really don't want to get this cover all icky. I may end up um, painting it in the end. I'm not sure, but for now, I don't really want black gesso all over it. So let's just... So I'm going to treat this tip in at least this side of it as the same as um, my page, which is cool. All right, I think that's good. Now, the biggest thing when you use um, gesso or paint on your stamps is to make sure you wipe them off. Um, I've never had a problem with a stamp no longer stamping uh, because I use them in paint or gesso. It's just, just wipe them off and the stuff comes off. It's the same as your ink. You know, if you use a lot of glob and a lot of paint in there and then just leave it, yeah, it's going to eventually ruin your stamp. But, okay, this is my circles. So let's do this one first. And, yeah, I probably should be using a block, which I can do. Let me take this and just re-roll it. <clears throat> There we go. No idea where this page is going. I have a feeling it's just going to be shapes and blobs. I don't know. Oops, that one didn't go all the way, but that's okay. I want some more of these triangles. I like this this stamp. I'm going to put it right here, but I want to make sure that I get full contact. Eh, not quite. But that's all right. Oops. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. All right. Let's just kind of clean this stamp off up here, and then we'll just wipe it down. Okay, and then we'll use our, see this one, I don't know if it's going to stay. Oh, it might. Let's just do this up again. And I just basically do that um, just to keep it fresh, a fresh uh, layer of gesso on there. I have a hair stuck on my... see hmm I took up some paint that's all right I like this stamp can you tell <laughs> I just think it's cool. I think it gives it a cool look. All right. 
We did our stamp into gesso. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to kind of close this stuff up here a little bit. And then I'm going to use a scrap that I've got over here somewhere. Here's just a piece of deli paper. And I'm just going to pull that print off there couple times. You know, we don't want to waste this paint, you know? And if it's dried on, that's all good and fine and dandy. We'll just get it another time. And I'm just gonna... Whoops! Alright, so that's done. <clears throat> Let's see what's next. What are we on? Number five. Do, 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 do. Round and round. Let's take one from an edge. No, let's go this one right here. What you? Curved lines. Hmm. We need curved lines, huh? Curved lines. Let me think. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to dry this really quick. Move this. Just kind of just dry up this gesso to make sure I don't end up with black smudges. All right. Now we need curved lines. So I have this notebook over here behind me. Oh, hold on, I just dropped something. Come on. Ugh. Okay. So I have this notebook over behind me, and what it's got in it is all kinds of shapes. Um, these are all just shapes. And the minute I thought of curved lines, I thought about these. And these are journaling blocks. These are old. These are from, like, um, I think scrapbooking. So it says curvy lines. So I'm going to use this one. Let's take this one out. We're going to do curvy lines, but we're going to do them a little bit differently. And what are we going to use with them? Let's use a color. How about some... Looking at my colors here in front of me. Um, I like the green. Let's do a blue, maybe. No, I want like an orange or a yellow. Let's do an orange. What's this one? Orange spice. That works, right? There's a yellow. Let's use this one. Before I do that, though, I'm going to get some of this off here. Just to get some of this watery paint off here. So maybe I'll have enough um, space to do some other painting. Oh, look, I just got paint on there. See? It's all messy. Messy Marvin. All right, so we're going to do some orange. We're going to do this orange spice, which is deco art. It's probably really old. If I know myself, because I don't normally use a lot of orange. All right, so let's take this. And I just have a cosmetic sponge here. And I'm just going to do a couple you know these are supposed to be for like journaling yeah as far as I'm concerned it has a hole it's a stencil <laughs> right see curvy lines let's do it right here I need some more of this orange spice
I was just looking at my camera to see if you guys could actually hear my headset. I hope not, because if not, if you can, YouTube's going to yell at me. I don't have it up very loud, so. Curvy lines. I really enjoy doing these pick tens because it just they make you think and they make you um, it's funny because everybody uses the the expression um, think outside the box I like to look at it as you're drawing your own box so these pick tens help you draw your own box all right there's my curvy lines now am I gonna leave that on there probably I'll wipe off what's Let's see, move you. I'll just, oh, look at that, wipes right off. No big deal. It's a stencil. Okay, so we've got curved lines, right? Let's hit a heat gun on them real quick. I'm gonna throw this in there, in my water. Then we're gonna do another one. That was five. Let's see, we have five more to go. Okay. Ready? Did you guys do your curved lines yet? I hope so. Here we go. Next one is a tag. Let's see. What are we going to do for a tag? Hmm. I'm thinking, do I go get one that I've already completed and put on here? No, that's no fun. So let's do a tag. Now these are just some pieces that I have that have been started. That's cool. That would go good on here. Like I said, these are just pieces that I've started and haven't, you know, done anything with. Um... A tag. Oh, I like this color. I think we'll use this tag. I'm going to ignore all that stuff on there. And actually, what I'm going to do, I wish I hadn't have thrown my sponge away, but I'm going to get another one. And we're going to use some of this spiced orange. We're just going to get some of the spiced orange on there. I'm not worried about that other stuff that's on there. Um, I want some black gesso. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> All right, let's do some black gesso on there too. Just grab a touch of it. Cover up some of that other stuff that's on there. Get it on my finger. Got it on my finger. Let's try that. I got my finger right in the side of that. All right, I want some more of this orange. Dixie cup. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I'm listening to country music. For me, country music is just so relaxing, and um, I really enjoy it. I need some metallic. Where's my metallic? Here it is. Because I've got those metallic stickers in there. So this is a metallic bronze. Ugh. Let's get some metallic on there. There we go. Let's 
Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Now this is just, um, let's see, a piece of fabric, brown fabric, piece of a map, a uh, piece of a book text. This is from drywall tape, the backing of drywall tape, and then just another piece of fabric. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda add the colors into this, including, ooh, top almost came off that one, including that orange spice. All right, so let's dry this up. I'm going to dry this up. All right, and then we're going to put this on here. Now, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tiny attacher. And we're just going to tack it on here. You don't have to use this many tiny attachers. I just, I don't know, I'm playing. I want it down. Okay. Now because I don't want to look at those little silver things, I'm just going to go through and add a little bit of black here and there. Maybe some black on the edges. Now they do have um, smaller, I think, um, different colored tiny tatcher things. I think, I could be wrong. I think you can get them in different colors, but I have the silver, which is cool. All right, so now we need to put a word on this tag. We're not just going to throw an empty tag on there, right? So let's see. Because if we're going to do a tag, we're going to do a normal tag. So let's see what we have for words. All right, this is just um, a bunch of words out of magazines. So the first thing I do when I look for this is I look for color. All right, um, be not afraid of going slowly. Be only afraid of standing still, a Chinese proverb. You know what? This little Chinese proverb might work on here. We're gonna have to cut it down, but yeah, see? So the first thing I do is I look for color, um, and then I, you know, try to pick out what words I think would work for whatever I'm, whatever I'm doing. So we're just gonna cut it square. I guess I'm giving you guys a little insight to how I create stuff. My thought process, per se. All right, now I want some black around the edges. I'm not going to use the gesso because it's too messy, so I'll use a Sharpie. All right. Now, how did I get green paint up there? Who knows? And I want this kind of... I don't want it quite so perfect. I want it kind of scratchy. What I would do. All right. That's going to go right there. Okay, where's our tag? We'll put that there. Now, let's see. How are we going to put this on our page? And I need some frou-frous up top. So let me see what I've got in my drawer right here behind me. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Just need a pair of scissors. Hang on, I'll show you. Look at this. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I believe my dear friend Peg sent this to me. So I just folded a bunch of it in half. And then what I will do, bring you through, is I will get all of the halves. And 
and then I will put these all through the halves and pull it. Sometimes when you have a lot of them, you have to do them like one at a time because if not, they don't work. Or they'll they'll rip your tag and you don't want that. So let's see, I've got this one to pull. Come on. And then you just work them until it's tight. And then the hoops that I have left over, I just snip. Love it. What do you think? Think there? I think right there. All right, so let's get some uh, double-sided tape is what I'm gonna use. I want it to stay there, so I'll put some right up the middle. See if I have to get out my pokey tool to do this. I might. There's one. There's three. All right. I think I'm going to kind of center this now. Yeah, let's kind of center it. That looks good, right? She's down. She's down. All right, so we've added a tag. So, so far we're doing pretty good. All right, let's go on. Here we go. Here we go. Let's take you. Gesso through a stencil. Huh, we can do that. Although we are going to tint our gesso. We're going to tint it metallic. So give me a second. I need to put some of this stuff up. Um, I've got the metallic right there, so I don't need that. Let's just put some of this stuff away. Just throwing some stuff back where it belongs. And uh, like I said, I'll actually keep you here so you have time if you're still working on your tag. This garbage. I've got paints all out here from other projects. It's crazy. My desk is getting crazy. All right, my jelly plate. I'm gonna put that in here. Another plastic go. I saw it go. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. This I don't need. All right, so we got the jelly plate put back. These are just a couple napkins. That goes back in there. Some pens, pencils. All right, here we go. We did that. Gesso through a stencil. I'm gonna put this one back. It's funny because sometimes I'll go through and I'll put this stuff away and other times it'll be like, ah, it's all over my desk. And then I spend like the next four hours putting stuff away. Today I'm in the mood to put it away. So let's grab a stencil. Before we grab a stencil, I want a drink. All right. Okay, we really don't have any type of a focal point, right? Yeah, on this page. So I'm thinking something... This would be kind of cool. It's like an Aztec. Um, let's see. Be not afraid of going slowly. Be only afraid of standing still. Chinese proverb. Um, yeah, this is how I look through my stencils. I just 
these are my six by sixes and I absolutely love these stencils. Um, this is my most favorite size. So here's another one too, but I've used this one quite a bit. So you know what? I'm going to go back with my very first original thought, which is this one. And I'm going to take, here we go, just so through a stencil. Okay, I have this metallic paint over here. I have this metallic paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white gesso. Now I've got, this gesso is, is just about dead. It's, it's the Pro Art gesso. Maybe. Okay. Um, whew, that hurts. All right, so I'm going to take this gesso and I'm just going to add a little bit to this metallic paint. See, it's like kind of clumpy and just icky. So we're going to use a little bit of this gesso. And we're going to do the metallic. Let's see if I can get it to do it. Yeah. I think that'll work. Um, or if I should add a color to it. I don't know if I really like that color. What do you think? This is spicy mustard. I'm going to add some spicy mustard to it. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like. Worst thing will happen is we'll have to take a baby wipe and wipe it off, right? So let's put it right here. Let's let's start and just see what it looks like first. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I like the color, but it's okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So we're using gesso. Um, I just decided to color my gesso, which is okay. You can do that. Well, I kind of like the idea that I got this black on the edges. So I'm going to try to go all the way around the stencil with the black. And that's just leftover um, from... Let's do this in the middle too. It's just leftover gesso that I had on my my palette here. Ew! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> all right, it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> We're just going to. I'm not going to do as big a one this time. It's all good. We can't make everything perfect, can we? All right, that's it. That's all the stesso, gesso through the stencil I'm doing on this page. I gotta fix that, but we'll work on that. Dry this up. Ew. You know what we'll have to do is we'll have to come in. Hopefully we'll be able to doodle. If not, I'm going to do it anyways because I want to fix this. But it's all cool. It's all cool. All right. This stencil we're just going to lay down here. We're going to brayer it. It's all good. And we're going to put it back in the book. All right. Phew, done on that one. Let's see what's next. Oh, what have we got? 
We had four, five, six, seven. We have three more. Three more. Here we go. This is eight. <gasps> you Sharpies, you! Okay, I actually have a black Sharpie right here. See? That's why I don't go ahead and do stuff because you never know what's going to happen. So I'm going to use some Sharpies on my gesso stencil here. I'm not going to do all of this because that would take me all day and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do the things that I want to stand out. And then the rest can just fade away into the background, right? I like that. Now, I also like this part here that goes So we're just going to do these. great because the you know I don't have to do um, you know I pretty much could make my own shapes on this which is kind of what I'm doing I'm just following pretty much the guideline of you know what the stencil had I enjoy doing these like I said it, it just allows you just to Play. You don't have to worry about the outcome. You don't have to, you know, oh, it has to meet a certain standard or a certain style or a certain whatever. You just have fun with it and do what you want. And that's why I love doing these. And I'm glad you guys enjoy them. Every now and then I have to get my Sharpie back. Um because the I think the paint eventually wears on these nibs but fun 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 right use a different sharpie uh, where's my sharpies let's see I want to bring some of this yellow over into here so I'm just gonna take some sharpie and just color in some of these circles just to bring a little bit of that yellow over Sorry, I get quiet. I'm just in the moment, just enjoying. You ever notice that when you get in your art room, time just just goes. It's not you don't have to worry about each minute, and you don't, you know, you're not like, oh, I wish this day would end, and um, it's just so easy just to get lost getting lost in the process and the play. It's 
funny. At first, my husband couldn't understand it, and then I got him, um, I got him working on some journals of his own, and uh, he was in here with me one day. Actually, it was up back when we were up in New York, but he was with me one day, and he's like, he looks up, and he's like, oh my gosh, do you know what time it is? I'm like, yeah, it's 7 o'clock. We haven't even had lunch! <laughs> I'm like, yeah, happens. <laughs> He's like, holy crud. <laughs> yep. Tip happens. We just have fun. Um, let's take a little bit of this brown. Apparently it's a browny, yellowy, greeny kind of day on this, huh? Let's use this to make these brown. More minutes. I'll just outline them. I was going to color them in, but I think that would be too much. Do, 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 do. So fun. Love it. All right, so we used our Sharpies. What's next? Next is, where are we? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have two more. Two. Nine is you. Random words in three areas. Random words in three areas. Okay. This is leftover from my scrapbooking days. Um, I actually purchased these years and years ago. And what it is is all these, well, some of them are big. Um, all of these words. So this is going to take me a few minutes to figure out what words I want to put down. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the color, which is going to be this, this tannish creamish, right? So it's tannish creamish on one side. So what I'm going to do is just find those tannish creamish number or letter, the words. Minutes. and then we're going to figure out how we're going to put them down see they're not all the same shade which is fine some of them have pink words some of them have white words let's see what this one is there's a color oh I'm like what is DN it's up crazy crazy girl um, entertaining. So this drawer, oops, uh, mature, the number eight. I don't want the number eight. What's this one? Arizona. Opportunity of a lifetime. So I'm just pulling out some words. I don't want Maryland. Um, don't want Playmate. See. No kiss. Another up. Diva. I don't like diva. Um, romantic connection. Oh, confection. What else we got? You guys have stashes like this. Stashes that um, you know you've had forever, and it doesn't matter how many how many words you use or how much you get out of it. Um, you know, it's, it just never seems to go away. Uh, let's see. What's that bathtub? I don't want bathtub on there, do I? What's this? Chocolate. Birth. Yeah, I don't think I need that on here. <laughs> Improvise. All right. So I've got a bunch of random words. So let's see what we can do with them. It says random words in three areas. 
All right, so let's just put random words down. We'll start with this area. I'm going to make it shorter. And this one says, opportunity of a lifetime. That's actually more of a saying, isn't it? So we'll put that one back. All right, I'm going to take this talk show. Now on these, they all have um, words and stuff on the back of them, but that's all right. All right, we've got talk and show. So here's talk. Here's show. Here's suit. Middle. We're just doing random words, right? Up. Let's see, together, impulsive, sure, put neighbor, no, let's put uh, entertaining, mature, innocence. We're just doing random words, like it says. I don't want Arizona. Let's put wacky, let's put impulsive, mature. Uh, let's put up up there, put aspired down here. We're just kind of just trying to mix them up so that they're just random words, right? All right, so let's use, I'm going to use some tacky glue just because I want to make sure they stay there. So let's put them down. I'm not sure if you guys are going to like this longer video. Um, if you do them with me, then you probably will. Um, if you don't, I apologize. I'm, you know, um, just trying different things with the videos and see which, which works better. So, okay, we're going to talk, entertaining. And these make no sense. Oops. Um, these don't make any sense as far as making sentence or anything. I don't know why I was keeping that off there. I gotta wash my hands. Ew! Uh, Alright. Okay. Neighbor. Impulsive. Wacky. Up. And mature. And let's see, we've got suit. We've got middle. We've got aspired and we've got show it makes a whole lot of sense doesn't it not okay so there's our random words in three areas that's number nine number ten ready Doo -doo -doo -doo. let's take you Use gel pens. I can do that. Those I have to go get. They're actually in my journal bag, my personal journal bag. So I will be right back. All right, so I got my gel pens. Um, this one is a glaze by uh, Sakura. This one is a met brown metallic and it has a little smiley face on it. So I think they're supposed to smell like something. This one looks like it's supposed to smell like pineapples. Um, kind of does, but anyway, I don't know what this one, an orange maybe. All right, so I'm going to play around with these. Sorry, something in my eye. All right, and we're just going to, we're going to play with our gel pens. Why does that look purple? That is brown, correct? Doesn't that look purple? That's really weird. Um, that's brown. Huh. I wonder if just the metallic part. Ah, that's it. Metallic wasn't in it. Huh. 
That's really weird. Let's see if I can get it to write metallic. That's slowly coming. All right, well, we have a purple metallic, I guess. We'll put a couple more spots. Just want to go around these. Scratchy scratchies. Where's the other one? I didn't put any over here, did I? All right, sorry, we'll go around a few flowers. getting all the green flowers. Alright, yeah, I wasn't, I'm going to try this one up here before I put it on the paper. This is supposed to be like a gold metallic. I'm going to shake it. I don't know if this is going to help. Ugh. Other than hurt my hand. Oh, that's like an orange. That's better. So now we're just going to do this. You know I have to have my loop-de-loops, right? There's just something about loop-de-loops. Loop-de-loops and dots. Loop -de this one does smell good. It smells like orange. I normally don't... I like the smell of Sharpies, but that one smells really good. <laughs> this one is just an orange. Like I said, this is a glaze. So I'm just gonna play. Just gonna play. God, that smelled good. Now I'm hungry. Smelled good. Oop, put soup down there. Now, if you notice, I'm not being very neat on this. I don't want it to look neat. I want it to look like I came in here and I played and I had fun. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Right? Just come in and have fun with your pages. And, you know, it doesn't have to be a beautiful, absolutely stunning finished product. Just enjoy. Um, let's see. What other quality? Let's see what this one is. This is a blackish gray. Grayish black. All right, give me one second. The hubs is calling. Be right back. All right, so now we're going to finish this one up. Yeah, we're finally getting all established down here with doctors and all of that happy stuff. You know how you have to when you move to a new state. Um, yeah, it's coming together. So he just wanted to call me and let me know how he was doing, how he made it out. Mm -hmm. Cool beans. I don't know why I just decided to start doing doo -doo -doo. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the longer video. Um, if not, let me know. I can go back to, you know, stopping um, as I get my supplies and that kind of stuff. If you, you know, enjoyed it this way. I will do my best to try to do this. I can't always because it's not always I have the house to myself. And I'm sure you guys understand that. So, um, yeah, look at this. I'm going to leave this just the way it is. Uh, I don't want to change it. I just want to leave it. And I love that stay wild. So that's my tip in. But, yeah, I'm sitting here thinking about this. I'm like, hmm. You know, maybe I should do some color and some doodling, some da 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 But you know what? For right now, we're going to leave it as is. All right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I cannot wait to see what you create. Um, definitely share it on my Artsy Endeavors uh, Facebook page. All right? And as always... Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.